Chainsaws are one of the most dynamic tools on the market. Any piece of power equipment must be used properly to avoid injury to the operator. The most important safety device when operating a chainsaw is common sense. Be familiar with various cutting situations and make choices based on the cutting environment. The following provides an overview of proper chainsaw operating techniques and should be used in conjunction with your instruction manual and safety manual to help ensure safe and proper sawing techniques. The use of unauthorized modifications, parts, and accessories can result in serious or fatal injury to the operator and others. Never modify the equipment without written permission from the manufacturer. Always use genuine echo parts and accessories. Equipment damage resulting from the use of unauthorized parts or accessories is not covered by warranty. As always, read and understand your instruction manual and safety manual before operating your Echo Chainsaw. As you watch this program, unsafe practices will be identified like this. Before picking up a saw, understand there are several steps a chainsaw user should take to avoid accident and injury. The first is to be aware of the most fundamental dangers present when using the chainsaw. Kickback is one of these dangers. Kickback may occur when the saw chain at the nose or tip of the guide bar touches an object in an area referred to as the kickback quadrant. Tip contact may cause a lightning-fast reverse reaction, kicking the guide bar up and back toward the operator. This is called rotational kickback. Pinching the saw chain along the top of the guide bar may push the bar rapidly back toward the operator. This is called linear kickback. Either of these reactions may cause the operator to lose control of the saw and come in contact with the moving chain, which could result in serious personal injury. The Echo Kick Guard device shipped with your saw will reduce the possibility of kickback. Each cutting situation is unique and should be evaluated as to whether or not the cut can be accomplished with the kick guard in place. If so, it is strongly recommended that the kick guard be used. There are some cutting situations where a kick guard should always be used. A kick guard should always be used if you're a beginner or novice chainsaw user, or if you're in any situation where it's possible that the tip of the saw may come in contact